Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's about 7 a.m. here in North Naples, Florida. Just watching the early morning colors, changing tones, beautiful here. Just south of the Ritz-Carlton, Vanderbilt Beach just up to the north. We're going to take a walk up Vanderbilt Beach, up to Del Norwegans Pass State Park, take a little stroll through the park again. Maybe show you a little more of the interior of the park, what I can share with you. So different, isn't it? Man, has that place changed. The landscaping is just, just unbelievable the loss of landscaping. I did post a couple of videos on Facebook. I, where did I do four little videos through the park. I did one up kind of by the main entrance where the ranger station used to be, ranger station used to be, then one along the main road going into area one along the beach in area one, then area five, and a walk along Wiggins Pass. If you go to YouTube, if you look for those videos on YouTube, you can watch them in full 4K. It's just recorded on an iPhone. I mean, it's not super high-end 4K, but it's better than what you get to watch on Facebook. The problem is it takes a while for YouTube to process the 4K. They start with lower resolutions and they go up higher and higher and the last video resolution they process is 4K so it takes longer. But I think it's worth it. So I did see Marcus, our sea turtle guy here this morning during my first live feed, our first look at the beach earlier. He said, at the time I talked to him, they have 35 nests here on Vanderbilt and 54 false crawls. So far, 54 false crawls. Almost double the number of nests. Now, when there's a first, when there's a false crawl, that same sea turtle comes back and tries again. So, don't go 54 plus 35. What's just amazing is that those sea turtles could, if they were some of the first ones to come up here and nest, could possibly come back up to three times. Could come on this beach three times during nesting season two. It is very common, twice. It takes around 30 days for those eggs to hatch. Please, please, please do not come out on the beach at night camping out by a nest, waiting for a nest to hatch. Do not do that. Leave the little babies alone. Leave the mamas alone. If you're walking the beach and you are, if you just happen to be one of those super, super fortunate people that come across maybe a mama sea turtle late in the morning, you know, early, you know, dawn, while there's little light still on the beach, stay away from her. Take some pictures, do whatever, but keep your distance. Don't be running around or getting shots from all different angles. Just plant yourself a good distance away. Use your zoom. And enjoy the splendor. The last thing you want to do is startle Mama when she's laying her eggs. Got to let her finish doing her thing. And then if you, man, if you're one of those really lucky people that sees an emerging, sees those little babies popping out of a nest, oh man, stay the heck away from them. Don't touch them, whatever you do. No flash photography in any, any instances, big or small. Respect our turtles, respect their nests. 
away from their nests. Didn't notice any fresh crawls on the Ooh, there went some pelicans. A, distance, a little short distance that I've been walking here. There's a pelican up here by the edge of the water. It's probably gonna take off before I get up there. They've been diving into the water really close to shore. I saw one the other day. Just right in, I mean, two inches of water. That thing just dropped out of the sky. I don't know how they do it. Now breaking their necks. If you're just tuning in, we're walking north on the beach in North Naples, Florida. We're just getting ready to cross over from Pelican Bay onto Vanderbilt Beach. And it is beautiful. Clear skies. Slight breeze, 70 degrees, going to get up to about oh, 88 today. Maybe some clouds will wait today. There's a couple offshore, but up above me, blue skies, baby. Look at that. Blue skies all around. Gorgeous. Looks like the clouds are down to the south and southwest. Whoa, did you catch Mr. Pelican making a dive there? That water, right where that pelican is, is maybe a foot deep where he just dove into the water, he or she. Must have been a miss. If they catch something, they spend a little more time there swallowing it down. Awesome morning for a beach walk again today. I thought I saw a manatee. You saw a manatee or maybe? Awesome. Huh? You thought you saw one? Yeah, I mean there was something big, that, you know. That's what it was. Yeah, that's, yeah. So they're, so, they're hard to spot. You Which, might see it. Did you, could you tell what way it was going? Um, north. North. Thanks. Very hard to spot a manatee, especially right now without that sun being up. They do come in close to shore as well, the manatees. And they have been going up and down the beach here. There was one out here the other day. I couldn't catch up to it, though. By the time I got there, it had swam off. There was a couple dolphins out here yesterday. I caught them out of the corner of my eye. I thought I was seeing things. I thought it was pelicans. something in the water. <laughs> I see what looks like maybe a little streak in the water up here, which is a sign of a manatee. See that, see that line out there in the water? It's way up here though. Can't see, can't see the end of it. Could just be the way the way the tide's rolling over the sandbar too. I'm thinking if that's a manatee, it's going to be up in here somewhere. past our little birds. Believe it or not, those manatees, if they want to, they can really move. I don't know if you saw anything pop up. I haven't yet. 
the pelican going by. Oh, I saw something over here. Oh, over here, over here, over here. Something out in the water. I see some ripples out in here. Hmm. Come on, manatee, come in close to shore if you're out there. It's gorgeous here, so quiet. Something going on down to the south here now. Pelicans, a couple of pelicans just plopped into the water and took off. Hey, everything's open here now. Vanderbilt Beach, everything is open. The parking lot, the parking garage, the restrooms, the foot wash, the turnaround. The only thing we don't have are our showers back yet. Hopefully, we'll get our showers back. Miss those showers. We have all that up at Bluebell. Gotta remember to grab my flip flops up here. If I walk past that building up there and didn't grab my flip-flops, remind me. <laughs> the pelicans are just back and forth. It's not a lot of them. They're just back and forth this morning. Very cool. Hey, hit that share button if you're enjoying the views. Send some stars on Facebook if you appreciate my efforts. Yesterday I walked 8.9 miles on my beach walk. About 8.7 on my beach walk. And I got a ride home from Del Norwegans. I didn't have to walk that extra mile or so home. Whew. I don't know if I'm going to be so lucky today. One of our good beach friends, Joe, gave me a lift home from Wiggins yesterday. Yeah, there's definitely a manatee out there. I can see its little trail out there in the water. I can see that little streak, that little flat streak in the water. Swimming up to the north. Yeah, let's go get lucky and see it at the pass. Wish you were here walking the beach with me this morning. I was kind of surprised yesterday. Didn't see as many likes on our Delmore Wiggins videos as I thought we'd get. I really thought people were going to be excited about seeing the park. I try to give you a good look at things, not just a quick drive through. Area one up there, that is just, did you watch that, the video from Area One Beach? Just nothing, you pull up and you're looking at the beach. 
where the bathhouse was. Just absolutely nothing there now. The first bathhouse and showers and boardwalk. Absolutely nothing there but beach. And a pay machine. <laughs> no ranger station to collect entrance fees. So be honest. If you don't have a pass, pay your fees. I don't know if those are electronic machines. Somebody asked me that yesterday. Or if you have to have cash and they just take cash and give you a ticket. I'm kind of thinking they might not be electronic unless they're solar powered. So, I mean, they, well, they don't have, I don't think they have electric out there anymore. You know, there's not one one building left in that park except for where the rangers live. That's the only buildings that are still there, I think. And I th think some of the maintenance facilities there, but as far as public facilities, public structures at Del Norwegians, they're all gone. I think they're rebuilding the Rangers' houses. Morning. All right, I gotta get up here and grab my flippies, my flip flops. Look at that sun. Man, looking down, looking out, Vanderbilt Beach Road there. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, when I was a little kid, just used to wear those little rubber flip-flops. That was my daily footwear. It's kind of like now, except they're a little nicer. <laughs> but, um, I used to call them Zoris. Zoris. I don't know if that was a brand name. Didn't call them. Or Flippies. My mom would call them Flippies. Zoris or Flippies. All right, I always keep them right here by the bushes down here. This is the only thing that I don't like about this walking up to Wiggins here. I gotta carry my flip flops because I want to put my feet in the water. I'll drop them by the Bluebell Boardwalk when we get up to the north end for our walk in the park. A walk in the park, a morning walk in the park. Gorgeous. So peaceful, just listening to these little waves rippling on shore.
Vanderbilt Beach Resort. Turtle Club restaurant over there. The restaurant is still not open. The resort just waking up. Getting their chairs and umbrellas set up on the beach. Let's see if I can find out how many sea turtle nests there are at Del Nor Wiggins. Man, they are, sure looks like they had a lot of crawls and a lot of nests. Looks like they had a lot of crawls yesterday morning, throughout the early morning hours. goes. Earlier this morning, before I left the house, I shared a photo of our friend Christine and her green machine, Christine, Naples Park Shuttle. She was all excited. She made our local news yesterday, NBC2 here in Southwest Florida. Rode around with her at Del Nor Wiggins in her green machine. So look for that photo. Can't miss her. You cannot miss her, and I just saw something out here. I just saw something right out here. Could be our manatee just popped its nose up right out here. Um, look for that photo and read the description. You'll see a link, and it'll take you to that little news story. It was great. She had a good time. She's very excited about it. Good PR for her. Yeah, that manatee is not too far offshore now. It's right out in here somewhere. A little more over to the right, maybe. They're very hard to see. They just stick their little nose up out of the water, take a breath. Every once in a while, you see their back kind of arch up. It's going right at about the same pace I'm walking here. Getting out a little farther now. They stay under for a little while. It's getting a little bit ahead of me now. It's hard to tell because their little trail is 
behind them. They're a little bit ahead of where you see that little flat spot, that little streak in the water. Come on, man. There it is. Did you see it come up out there? Very hard, very hard to see him. Just stuck its nose up. Getting a little further away from me now, a little farther out from shore. Very cool. I can't walk out into the water now because I got my wireless mic contraption. Got to change hands there, put the flip-flops in the other hand. Yesterday I shoved them down in the back of my swimsuit. And that was not a good idea. It was a sandy experience when I jumped into the shower. He's still tagging along with me out here. Very blue this morning, very blue. Once that sun gets a little higher, we'll start seeing those emerald greens in the Gulf. Right now we're having our Tuesday morning blues. Just saw a fish jump out of the water. Just off camera, just to the left off camera. of that manatee. I think it's still traveling along beside me. Me out there swimming. Having an early morning swim. Was really cool about Wiggins yesterday was seeing all those smiling faces. Man, everybody was walking around with a big old grin from ear to ear. Happy to be back in the park, happy to be on their favorite beach.
ripples out there in the water. Swimmer, that's what it is, a swimmer heading down the beach way out there. It was fun seeing. I saw Nana up at Wiggins Pass. That was fun. My friend Margaret and her husband up there. Another little pelican over here. Oh, just took off, darn it. Can't catch up to him. Playa. Not sure what their status is. I don't think they're still back to 100% yet. Waltzing by. Good morning, our little feathered friend. Yeah, we're getting close to Wiggins. Surprised we don't see Dexter out here this morning, unless he's still out of town. He went up to Connor's graduation. Love those coconut palms. Of course, they're not natural. They were all planted there many years ago. Not native, but they sure are beautiful. That's what you think of. You think of coconut palms when you think of the beach. It's still kind of rough up here. Still kind of rough past the, the playa on the beach. Still some pretty good ridges here and ledges. And that sand, that new sand is soft. But the sea turtles love it. They love that new sand. It is so easy for them to dig down and that 
that same crew that built the sand berm here, they're up at Barefoot Beach now doing the same thing. Getting a little deeper into nesting season, so I don't know if they're going to have any problems up there. What they do is they just kind of work around the nest. They block off an area around the nest and they stay away from it. I mean, they're not working at nighttime when the sea turtles are coming up on the beach, so that's a good thing. A lot of blue. It's going to be gorgeous at Del Norwegans this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. No stars this morning. Hmm. Where's my star senders? There's that sun. Ooh. Here comes our rake. Here it comes. A raking up the beach. Went. You got ahead of me. I don't know if you saw it come up or not. You could see it in the camera. The best way to see manatees is looking down on them. Drones are cool, and drones happen to fly over a pot of them. Man, that is neat. Oh, speaking of drones, watch that again. You're just tuning in. Go back and look for the picture of my friend Christine on her golf cart, her green machine, she calls it. Christine from Naples Park Shuttle. Click on the link in that description of that post. You'll see the story about Wiggins reopening yesterday, but they got some aerials that they shot with their drone. Gives you a good perspective of what's going on there, especially when they're flying along the road, the main road. That's what's just unbelievable how it's changed there's a, a crawl right here set of tracks the brakes already kind of covered them up there was a crawl right here and there is a nest up here it looks like I don't know which way I don't know if it was a good one. This looks like an older nest up here. I think this is an older one. Oh, no, maybe not. Tracks come up here. Number 36. Nest number 36, all right. That's cool. Nest 36 on Vanderbilt Beach. Not in the best lighting, darn it. I'm just trying to snap a photo quick. Sorry about that. Sorry about that little interruption. I had to drop my flops and do my thing as we continue our walk north. 
Vanderbilt Beach. So, 36 on Vandy. Well, I saw Marcus earlier. I guess he hadn't been up here yet. He said 35. Cool beans. Did you see that manatee? Did, did you see the manatee? No. There's, there's been a, it, it was swimming up along the beach with this. All you can see is their little nose come up. Okay. But look, like when you, look, but yeah, that was open, right? yeah, that was out there. Was you'll, see, you'll see a little like streak in the water. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm up looking at the turtle nest and dolphin swims by. That's how it always works. That's how it always works. <clears throat> Daylight and a dollar short. The dolphins are swimming down to the south. You just got to come out here in person to experience these things. Those dolphins would come right up close to the beach here. I'm just having some serious up close dolphin encounter withdrawals. I guess I got spoiled. I got spoiled with a couple of those encounters. I catch it. I don't know in the background of the picture I took of the sea turtle nest. I don't think so though, but it's kind of far out there, those dolphins. So we're getting close to Wiggins. I'll probably, I know I'm gonna, I'll take a little break when I get up here to Bluebill before walking into Wiggins, make sure it's eight o'clock and opened. Don't wanna be breaking any rules. Looks like it's going to be a while before they open all the parking lots up at Del Nor Wiggins. Unfortunately, just from the looks of the destruction. I mean, from what it looks like to me, Area 5 is just like wiped out. Where the pavilion used to be. I don't know if you're allowed to walk on the road up there or if you have to stay out of the park. I know you can't use the parking lots, but I don't know if you can walk along the main road up through areas three, four, and five to see what it looks like. It would be kind of interesting. I'm dying to see what Roy's spot looks like. I can't figure out exactly where it was. I have an inkling. 
but it's just without those pine trees it's just so different now you see so many sable palms that you never saw before because they were buried back in the woods good morning thanks for the stars my first stars of the day stars from my stars Water is looking good. Let that sun come up a little higher. We'll get a better look at it while we're at Wiggins. Did see some of that red drift algae on the beach, old red drift algae on the beach at Wiggins drying up you know Wiggins they don't run a rake like they do here in Collier County they just let mother nature take care of things to for the most most of the time <laughs> obviously Hurricane Ian was a whole different story they had to get in there after mother nature did her thing clean up after her normally they just let the beach clean itself unless it's a hazard So there's some red drift algae on the beach, that's seaweedy looking stuff, and there's some out in the water. I saw some patches of it in the water yesterday, but again, it's nothing to be alarmed about. You hear, people hear that red and they think about red tide. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No red tide, don't worry about that. That red tide is gone for now. Let's hope it stays gone. Oh. I do appreciate the stars y'all sent yesterday. That was sweet. Wish that would happen more often. Tips also, I do appreciate tips. Tips are what get me through the daily grind. The stars take a little while to get the funds from Facebook. Could take almost two months, depending on when you send them. Those tips. Are pretty much immediate. Venmo too. Venmo is the best way. If you're a Venmo user, look for me on Venmo. Rob Stan. Rob with two B's. Rob Stan. You see my smiling face. PayPal. A lot of folks use PayPal. It's a little fee, but nothing out of it's unreasonable. It's fair. They got to make money. Now we're getting out in the light here. In between a couple buildings. There's a look at that water finally. Finally, finally. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Like I always say, I wish you were here with me experiencing this beauty firsthand. Firsthand. I think our manatee might be back. I might see its little streak way out there in the water. I 
wish it would come in nice and close though. out here. There, there's been a manatee coming up. Yeah, it's been following us up all the way up. gonna go up here a little further take a little break then I'll be back for a walk in the park in Del Norwegian's Pass State Park see how that looks today Critters are too far out here for us this morning. Look at this water. Look at this water. It is beautiful. I wonder how busy the park's going to be today. That manatee is probably out in there somewhere. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's always good to be seen. That's for sure. That was my dad's favorite comeback. Good to be seen. And that's a fact. <laughs> time Naples Park shuttles starting her operation she had both of her carts out here yesterday two carts in action shuttling people from Connor Park to Del Norwegians I guess the park lets her bring them right in now so that's cool then she has to drop you off at the front gate that is very cool 
There's a couple of shuttle services here. So you're not going to get stranded in the parking lot when you show up if you're looking for a ride. Good morning. Uh, one last look at the water before I take five or so here. Beautiful. Muteus. This is when the water is at its best, up at Wiggins Pass when the tide's coming in. Uh, we got three and a half hours maybe before high tide. Nice looking up the beach and not seeing that ugly orange fence that was usually half fallen over. The sign saying keep out. Don't miss those at all. Our glorious Delmore Wiggins Pass State Park. with our Dave Stewart swim buoys out there in the water. That's sweet. Remember our friend Dave Stewart? I finally got those buoys out there in his honor. That's sweet. I bet they're going to have another busy day here at the park between guests and sea turtles. It'll be busy. Kevin was here working yesterday. I just, he was down here doing some things. I didn't catch him yesterday morning. You gonna hang out? You gonna stay tuned here for my next live feed for our little stroll through the park? I hope so. I would certainly hope so. Well, that's gonna do it for now. Give me 10 minutes, somewhere around there. And I shall return. If I don't see you later, have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. And send some stars on Facebook if you like what I do. I'm not trying to sound like Joe Biden. That's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> oh, tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.